In this video, we are going to cover the general operation of one of 3D Potter's version 10 printers. We will start by turning the printer on and connecting to it. When connected to the printer, you can control it in the interface. You should test it by pushing Home All. Here in the dashboard, you have manual control of X, Y, and Z movement, and you can move the rails by using the machine movement commands. Before we start printing, we need to level the extruder. In order to do this, we need to run the print start location G code file which is under Jobs. The print start location file will bring the z-axis all the way down to zero. When it is at zero, you can place the extruder onto the machine. We generally recommend that you place your own bat on top of the printer bed. This will allow you to remove your piece after it is done printing. It can be secured in many ways, one of which is clamps, which we are using in this example. It is now time to put the extruder onto the machine and level it. Generally, we recommend about one to two millimeters between the nozzle and the print surface. Now that the extruder height has been leveled, we need to run the prime program. You can connect the extruder cables, bring the Z height back up, and then run the prime program. We'll, we'll click on Dashboard, and then press Home Z. To run the Prime program, click on Jobs, and then click on Prime.gcode. Once the extruder is primed, you will need to hit the Emergency Stop button in the top right, or cycle the power on the machine by flipping the switch on the back. Now that the extruder is primed, we can start printing. You can upload your own G-code files under Jobs, and then by pressing the Upload G-code file. But in this example, we will just be using the test phase that is included with the printer. Depending on your water content and what material you are using, Sometimes the first layer needs a little bit of help sticking to the surface you are printing on. This help can be done by hand manually or by increasing the extrusion rate in the printer interface. Here in the interface, I'm going to turn the extrusion rate up to 130% and then bring it back down. This extrusion rate setting can also be changed in slicer settings to increase flow rate for the first layer. Now that the first layer is done, I'm going to reset the extrusion rate back to 100%. Once you have the extrusion rate that you want, you can adjust the speed. Here I'm turning the speed up to 130%. So the print is moving 30% faster 
and the extrusion rate has matched it. To get the ideal extrusion rate with our printers, you should inspect the individual layers. A very good adhesion amount is when you visually inspect the layers when you can see a very small amount of layer smooshing in between each layer. Here's a close-up view of how the layer smooshing looks between each layer. Here we are printing at over 100 millimeters per second. However, for tall objects which are made of soft clay, you will have to print at slower speeds to prevent them from toppling over. Once your piece is done, you can remove it from the printer and then start another. This covers the general operation of our version 10 printers. Thank you for watching.